Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna show you how to meal plan like a boss. Anyhow, I'm gonna walk you through some quick and easy steps how you can store and keep a month's worth of family recipe favorites digitally and old school. And literally how in only five minutes of your time, you can meal plan one month's dinner at a time. Yes, you heard me right, about five minutes of your precious time. And you know you have that because you have been on TikTok way more than five minutes, Netflix, I can go on and on, but you definitely have five minutes. And I promise you this will save you hours of anguish trying to figure out what to make for dinner with all of that random food that you bought at the grocery store last week that looked good at the time, but literally makes no sense together right now. I'm willing to share all of my recipes already pre-organized for you. So literally all you have to do is follow along. I have done all the legwork for you. You're welcome, by the way, but let's go. Let me show you how easy this is. Okay, for all of my digital people out there who like to stay completely digital when it comes to meal planning, I cannot recommend Pinterest enough. I mean, how great is Pinterest? It's free, it gives you access to thousands if not millions of recipes. And here are two ways that I would recommend uh, meal planning with Pinterest. The first way, if you wanna stay completely digital, is create a meal planning board by month. This is an example, I created just one month. And then by there, you break it down by the four or five weeks seven days each week. I go grocery shopping once a week. This makes it easy for you to click on a specific week, see the recipes that you are making, then click on the links to find exactly what ingredients you need before going to the grocery store. My personal family, we do an easy meal night every week where I just do pizza or burgers and then we do order takeout or go to a restaurant. So I put those in as placeholders. But this is a great way to stay completely digital the only time you would need pen and paper is if you were doing your grocery list or you could even do that digitally. Okay, the way I do it, I will show you. I put it on a paper planner because I am a paper planner person, but in order to meal plan every month, I have a board that I call Foodie. And this board is broken down by meal type. And I use this to plan my monthly meals and it only takes me five minutes, I will show you planning a month, uh, how quick it does take me. Um, everything is organized by food type, so I know that on Mondays I like to do chicken and Tuesdays ground turkey, Wednesdays pasta, etc. That sort of thing, I'm able to click on a specific food type, look at all my options, and choose, you know, choose what I want to do. And again, ingredients are listed in each of the recipe links, so when you go grocery shopping, very easy to make the list of exactly what you need. If this seems overwhelming to you, do not worry. I'm going to put a link to my Pinterest boards below this video, so all you can do is copy or repin. We looked at Pinterest. That is a great digital resource. However, I do have a old school pen and paper resource that I also pull out. This is my bullet journal where I have logged family favorite meals that my family really likes. I just keep adding on the list. I coordinate it by the food type, similar to Pinterest. This is like the precursor to Pinterest. I pull this out, a lot of it is overlapping, but it still just helps me sometimes to digitally, or to, you know, just see a list, then I can look at it digitally. So I use this along with my Pinterest boards to populate my meal plan for the month. Let's go. I would just wanna pop in one more non-digital option for some people who just don't like the digital planning, just like the old school recipe. You can easily make your own recipe binder just by any binder from the grocery store or from any office supply store. And you can fill it with recipes. I have mine organized by appetizers, breakfast, side dishes, by type, and then anything that I find in magazines, easy way for me to store in here. Um, side dishes, veggies, etc. I do make a printable recipe binder kit, which comes with a cover and a spine. It also comes with printable recipes. I'll show you like this. This one is the two recipes per page, and then there's also one with one huge recipe per page um, in tons of different designs and patterns. I can put the link below to my shop uh, below this video, but I just wanted to show you this option for those people who do like to do this. This also makes a great sort of heirloom if you want to pass it on to your kids, if, you know, meals are special, etc. So just wanted to pop this in. This is also another option you can use when meal planning every month. Okay, so the next step to meal planning is sit down and grab a calendar. I like to meal plan in my planner, but you can do it anywhere. 
you can even do it on a piece of notebook paper and just write it down, whatever really works for you. So I'm about to meal plan for August when I filmed this. To take this one step further, how I organize, here are two tips that I use. First of all, always write the meal plans down in pencil because things change. Situations change, you might want to switch things around, you realize you don't have enough of this ingredient or whatever. Anyway, pencil for sure. Um, but if you want to take your organization one step further, this is kind of like organization on steroids. I, um, first of all, I look and see what the color is. Okay, so I like to organize what day that I cook each meal or what type. So Mondays, I usually do, it looks like I have, okay, open space up here. Mondays, I usually do chicken. Tuesdays, I usually do ground turkey or beef dishes. Wednesday, I try to do meatless, plant-based, tofu, salads, try, try, soup. Thursday, I like to do a pasta. Friday, I do easy, what I call easy, I do like. I'll throw in a frozen pizza, I will um, cook hamburgers and make sweet potato fries, just super easy. And then Saturday, we used to always eat out or do takeout. We would eat out prior to the pandemic. Now that the pandemic is here, we uh, support local business and just do takeout every Saturday. And then Sunday, I usually leave open only because it's some, a lot of times when we do takeout, we have so much leftover that we... Um, eat it for Sunday dinner as well. So I kind of always leave Sunday as like my blank canvas. If we eat our takeout and we don't have any leftovers, I'll easily throw something on the grill. I mean, it's not real hard to come up with a meal one time a week, but the majority of the time we have leftovers. So let me start populating this so you can see how I fill it out. write via pin when I'm meal planning and that just gives me a reminder if I need to pull the recipe it's on Pinterest but I've been doing this for so long I pretty much know but just anyway so something and then I find something that I want to cook um, that I forgot that I wanted to cook so I'll erase and that's why I use pencil. It didn't take me much time at all. Oh wait, let me just write down my ideas. Hold on, hold on. Let me write down my ideas here. Now, now we're good. So this didn't take me much time at all, really. Once you have everything you and you have it all organized, it literally takes 10 or 15 minutes just to fill it out. So anyway, this is how I do it. Super easy, keeps me super organized. And then I can show you how I um, keep, how you do your grocery list. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention is once you do have your meal plan and you get ready to make your grocery list, I go shopping once a week with a purpose. This process makes it very easy for you to get what you need. There's little waste. You're in and out of the store quicker because you have a plan and you're not randomly just trying to buy whatever. You, I go, I do my grocery shopping on Tuesdays or Wednesdays. I go and I see what I'm making for that week. And if I know off the top of my head for this, I'm gonna need heavy cream, chicken, I'll start writing it down in my list. If I need to know some specifics, I will pull up the recipe very quickly, make sure that I have everything I need, move on to the next and the next and the next. Fill out my grocery list, I have everything I need for these specific recipes and it makes it super easy and efficient and it saves you money because everything you buy you are going to cook. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful, maybe you learned a few things. Um, you can follow along my boards, making it super easy. 
I would love it if you would like and subscribe and everything I talked about, Pinterest boards, any sort of printables that you saw, grocery list, meal planning, etc. I will link below this video onto my website so you can check those out if you want. And I hope you guys have a great day, a great month and hang in there and good luck with your meal planning. And thanks again for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Bye. If you like saving money and who doesn't, be sure to check out my website where you can print literally anything for birthday parties, classrooms, baby showers, baby reveals, wedding, bachelorette, wine, so much wine. Seriously, wine labels for gifts, for business, for holiday, sarcastic, funny, milestones. I also have tons of organizing, planning, teacher gifts, teacher classroom decor, gift giving, home decor, so much more. This is only a very small sampling of everything I've created. It's printaparty.com with the dashes. I will link below this video. Thank you so much, y'all. Take care. Bye-bye.